Hey guys, it's Thursday! Alright, so Stina, you asked us which books we would like to see as a musical. It was really hard. <laughs> I looked through all my books and I thought, oh yeah, that would work and that would work and that would work. So I chose three. <laughs> Try to be compact. So um, the first one is um, Die Leiden des Jungen Werte. Um, the Souls of the Young Werte from Goethe. I, <laughs> I just have a German book, so sorry you guys. Um, I'm really proud of this book. Um, because I got like all the good to uh, everything he ever wrote and it's just like this really really old um, writing so I love that so um, yeah I just so love this play it's and um, I don't know if it's if it's ever done as a musical but I just love it and it's awesome and it's the play that made me love Goethe <laughs> and um, yeah and in Germany we have to read it in school and so many people are like oh no it's Goethe and I think if you put it in a musical it would be just a new modern touch if you would like to say <laughs> so okay that was number one and number two is Der Bote from Inge Edelfeld. It's a Swedish author. But um, yeah, I got this book when I was 14 from a really good friend and I read it over and over and over again. And um, it's about a 17 year old girl that um, gets the chance to go through a mirror in the underworld where there are vampires and um, through different adventures she saves the world of the vampires and um, yeah it's a really cool book and I think it would be a really cool effect as well on stage um, to create this mirror where the actress will go through and also I think it would be just so cool with with the costumes and lighting and everything you can do with this two worlds that would be there on stage and I just love that <laughs> so much and I think it would be amazing and awesome and if I could do it I would do it <laughs> but well but yes I love this book I try to google it to find out what the English name was, but I couldn't find it. So, I'm sorry. Alright, my last one is uh, Persepolis, Eine Kindheit im Iran. It's a childhood in Iran, and it's actually a comic. And um, it's just really strong and really hit me. <laughs> And um, I think it's a topic we don't talk about very openly and in public. And um, I think it would be um, a good topic to um, deal with. And um, probably could and maybe would <laughs> offend some people. And um, yeah, it's a really moving story. And um, I couldn't really think of a worst musical to come up with. Oh, that's my phone. Huh. I couldn't think of a worst musical to produce. <laughs> but um, I think this book would be the freakiest. Because right now I just, I, I just see it in the book. I see it with real people. And that, yeah, just... just would make it real and just so it's just so far away from my perspective all the things she 
was experiencing and it's a true story so um yeah would just be awesome and freaky at the same time <laughs> so yeah i'm really looking forward to um uh yeah kevin and what <laughs> you are going to come up with and it was great to see the videos of you guys and um yeah kevin i see you tomorrow oh and i hope your audition went well kevin all right <laughs> bye